What is happening traders? It's Thomas here from VegaFX and in this video we're going to be looking at two different entry types that the majority of SMC traders use which are the confirmation and aggressive entry types. Now me and my trading community we do do things slightly differently but the premise is the same and I'm going to teach you our way of using these two entries. Obviously the premise that people use this for is uh, confirmation entries are obviously taken when you have less confidence in a setup or the market has given you less evidence to get involved in a trade and a confirmation then allows you to confirm that there is obviously orders at your zone and allows you then to get in on a fresh setup that occurs whereas an aggressive entry allows you to jump into the market straight away as you are more confident in the zone or the market has obviously given more entry uh, evidence to suggest that the market is going to reject from the zone that you've chosen. So we're gonna start off with the Euro uh, dollar guys. This is a swing that's actually currently happening today and we are currently involved in a trade setup. And we're gonna start off by dissecting some market structure. Now we can see that obviously this is the peak. We can see that there was major highs being broken and then we get a major low broken by here. So we can draw this as a swing as this is where the major order flow reversal happens. And we're gonna follow the market back. And we can see that there's no major structures, uh, major lows being broken. Even by here, there's no low being broken. There is a minor low that's broken by here, which we will get to in a second. But we're gonna keep following the market back, looking for the last major structure reversal. We can see that there was lows being broken by here. We then get a high being broken by here. And this confirms to us that this is the major swing low. We're then going to follow the market back. Now we can see that there is liquidity by here, which would be inducement for this low zone. We're going to come back to this area by here, guys. We can see that there was a minor low occurred by here. That's because it's happening internally to major structure. We can see that was broken. So although this isn't a major swing, guys, we do mark this out as a minor swing. And it is occurring within this larger range, but we are going to still use and observe this zone to um, check to see what the market does at it. Now, we're not going to trade it aggressively just because it's a very small structure, but it is significant, meaning there may be orders here to actually reject the market and create further imbalance for the momentum to continue. We know that there's gonna be a lot more orders here. That's just simply because this is a London open zone and it's a major swing. It's a much larger swing than this small swing by here. So if we're going to use this guys, we can actually see that there is imbalance by here. It has been mitigated, Although you'll find that these older zones are able to be mitigated more than once, especially at a later point in time. We call this an historic order block within my community. We do have rules, obviously, um, in regards to how long, um, how much time needs to pass before we can use a pre-mitigated zone. And this would be the zone that we'd be looking to trade from aggressively. Again, it's a London open zone. It's a larger swing. And we've got inducement for it, suggesting that the market may want to come back and tag this before moving higher. But we're going to look at this as well, guys. Like I said, it is significant structure and it is a minor swing. And it's going to have much more rejection power than using this zone or this zone or this zone. And that's simply because there's going to be more orders at this zone. There's been more. Um, build up of orders within this range. So there's more likely uh, that it's going to reject price than just using one of these smaller structure levels. You could say that this is quite a significant structure level as well, but wouldn't actually be valid within our strategy. And what's going to happen, guys, is we'd have an order set by here. What we'd be looking for at this zone, as it's a smaller zone, we would be looking for a confirmation setup. That's a retest of this order block, breaks of structure, 
We're then going to look for a fresh zone formed, which we can then look to get involved in. You can already see here that there is liquidity building up. Just going to draw that by here. And we've had a test during the zone. And this was actually yesterday at about quarter past four. We then get structure breaks to the upside. Now we can actually see that there is imbalance being created by here, guys. So we've had a rejection on this zone. Now a confirmation simply means that we're confirming that there is orders at this level. We went trading it aggressively, but we now know that there is orders at this level as we've had the major order flow reversal at this zone. I'm going to follow the market back. We can see that there is imbalance here. This is the source of imbalance. We're going to draw a fresh zone. Now we can simply draw our stop loss and entry point and also our take profit at the swing high. And we're drawing it at the swing high, guys, just because we're in a bullish range. This was actually the previous swing. We've broken through that aggressively and we are more likely to get a break of the swing high just because the momentum is now bullish. The trend is your friend. We are trading pro momentum. We do have a um, counter momentum setup, which I do post often in my community and also my Instagram. Earlier in the year, I was actually getting a lot more counter momentum setups than pro momentum, which is strange because they are much less common, but um, it was a weird time. We were actually getting questions asking if my strategy was only counter momentum, but majority of the time we do get into aggressive pro momentum um, trades. And that's just because the market is normally moving efficiently and it comes back into these major um, zones. Whereas towards the end of the year, when liquidity does start drying up, you find that the market is less likely to come back all the way into these major zones and it comes back into these minor zones instead before performing a reversal, allowing us to get involved in a confirmation. If we keep playing the chart here, guys, we're going to see ranging price action. Now, this is just liquidity building. You can see that there's liquidity building by here. We can actually see that the market is slowly coming down. Now, this is the price action that you want to see, guys, is corrective price action down to your zone, which means that it's more likely to aggressively impulse upwards. And obviously, that, that is going to be because of the liquidity sweep that occurs from this liquidity building up. You see that we're coming into spread hours here. We've had a slight sweep into liquidity, simply forming more liquidity above. can now draw this across. You can see by here, guys, this is what we call localized liquidity. It's a small amount of buildup of liquidity. The market's moved lower. If it's too much liquidity, it's going to sway your mind because you're going to um, anticipate a longer term reversal. But these small Builds up liquidity are simply the market looking to um, basically build liquidity for the market to move down on a short term basis. And you can actually also argue, which we did actually draw, is that there is longer term liquidity. And this is going to um, give you more swaying to actually um, maintain your aggressive entry here. Now, if you're in my premium, guys, you'll actually know that I did actually remove my order at this zone. We had our first confirmation, but due to the liquidity building up like this, I was under the impression that the market was going to pull deeper into our major demand zone. However, I was still monitoring this zone, and you'll actually see now why I did um, actually decide to enter anyway. Let me just correct this. So you can see that we've had three perfect taps, guys. Normally, when you get three perfect taps like this, the market has a tendency to actually sweep and push lower. 
We have further breaks to the upside. Now, this is just to me confirming that the momentum is still bullish. We've got corrective act, um, price action, impulsive price action. But this, to me, still inducement. We can actually see that there is inducement below the Asia session. You will have people placing their orders from here, guys. Bad idea, just because of this liquidity below, you're very likely to get swept. But what happens here, guys, is we get a sweep into this liquidity. Into our zone. And this is giving us further confirmation that there are still orders remaining at this price level. And the market did then come back on the next candle. I placed my market order here on the following candle. I actually had my stop loss set slightly above uh, the zone, which I will show you in a second. What we're going to do, guys, is we're going to target this significant structure by here. We can see that although this is internal to the major swing, this is where there is an order flow reversal. And this is our first target. We know that we're in a bullish swing, so our second target is going to be the major swing high, simply because we're anticipating um, the momentum to continue. And if we keep playing price, You can see we had another tap into our zone. We're currently sitting at about 5 hour in profit, I believe. 5.8 hour in profit. Uh, we're going to be targeting 7.8, sorry, 8.5. And we're then going to be looking to get um, more profit at the major swing high. So this is my MT4. You can actually see that I did have my stop loss slightly lower than the zone. And that's simply because, guys, we had that first candle sweeping into liquidity and that strong rejection. So I did, um, although this is a bit risky, I did have my stop loss slightly below the wick, anticipating for the market to have already mitigated this zone and to continue higher. And we can see that we're running at about two and a half grand right now. And you may have noticed now that there is more liquidity built above, which the market is more likely to target. And we do still have liquidity below, guys. There is going to be less liquidity now that we've had this sweep into it. Um, so there, it's not completely certain that the market is going to reach this swing high, which is why we do like to take partials. And obviously, if the market does still come low, I'm still going to be looking at this swing low zone just because the momentum is still bullish. We may, this might simply be inducement to go lower before continuation. So that's it from me, guys. I am going to be uploading a lot more YouTube content over the near future just because the markets are drying up. And if you do want to learn more about this strategy, you can do so by following the link in my subscription to my course where you can learn the strategy in full. I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a lovely trading week. Peace out.